So um, we're going to go ahead and bring up our first youth performer. Her name is Martina Lynch. She's 19. She is a current student at Baltimore City Community College. And the name of the piece that she will be sharing with us today is Dream. Martina. Hey, how y'all doing? <clears throat> All right, so this is my dream piece. Hope you like it. I got a dream that the makeup would disappear. So we look at you and see what was really there. I got a dream that will finally really care. I know that I got to figure. I look at them, stop and stare. My friends want to do videos, claiming to be the baddest, trying to be individuals, ending up being plastic, dream of leaving the universe, reaching beyond the planet, hoping I gain some confidence to say what I've been planning. I be dreaming. I know that that sounds cliche. Who asked them? They talking like I called them up on three-way, but I'm so far ahead, it's like I'm on the freeway. You sleeping on me? Oh, please, I'm iPhone and you're prepaid. You see these girls chase the glamour ever since they was in Pampers, prepping for their future. Only Jesus knew the answer, but they didn't believe. Plus, they ain't never asked them, so it seems the time flew past them. Now they at the parties dancing with no self-respect. I got a dream. These lyrics could possibly help raise some self-esteem. You looking in the mirror, you don't like what you've been seeing, like for real. Dream chasers. I got a dream, like Martin King. I do my thing. It's for my team, and I said I got a dream. It's about you and me to live in unity, like how it used to be. I seen that white girl looking in the mirror. She screams, but nobody hears her. She's cool in school, makes the boys drool, but still she's so insecure. I seen this white man sniffing that crack in the man's so surprised because it wasn't even black. I had a dream that that didn't matter. Can you imagine that? I had a dream that I was on Netflix. Preaching to the teens, don't worry about the necklace. Preaching to the girls, don't worry about the next chick. Get it together, put the hood on the Lexus. Put the hood on froze. Make it so cold, seen the black man shooting at a black man. I had a dream that we didn't have self-hate, and it didn't really matter about a black man. I had a dream we could all get along. Forget about religion, but just love the Holy Spirit. Keep it with God, everybody out the missing. You and Jimmy getting money, you don't got the proper vision. Don't eat dog, I was in the competition. Color women, sorry, I ain't gonna finish. But I forgot to mention that I'm from a new dimension, and I'm getting from the heavens, so I'm better make a difference. No self-respect, <laughs> I got a dream. These lyrics could possibly have raised some self-esteem. You looking in the mirror, you don't like what you've been seeing, like for real. Dream chasers, I got a dream. Like Martin King, I do my thing. It's for my team and I said I got a dream. It's about you and me to live in unity like how it used to be. See, I get better every day. Dream of me reaching my prime at the center of the stage, screaming that the world is mine. Oh yeah, check the clock. It's my Martin Luther time. They be like, you don't curse in your verses. Hey, yo, that's what makes me fly. Set a new trend for the upcoming red chicks that you ain't even got to be the baddest. And you ain't got to sell your soul. You ain't even got to try to be the fattest. It's no booty shots. It's like movie shots because my vision replays in my dreams. But I don't sleep. I daydream because I daydream with the team. Open your eyes, caterpillar. You going to grow some wings and you won't be scared to Fly, baby, you gon' do your thing, do your thing, little shawty. Let me see my kings and queens who has a dream. Thank you. So, um. Thank you to all of our speakers so far. The next person, the two people that we're gonna bring up are um, some more of our youth poets. Um, the first will be DeAndre Jackson. He's 18 and a current student at Douglas High School. He is the Baltimore Youth Grand Slam champion as well as the Baltimore City Youth Poet Ambassador. Um, and we are thrilled to have him join us. DeAndre is, um, and all of our youth poet Speakers today have been members of Do More Baltimore, which is a nonprofit which seeks to engage positive social change through poetry. The CEO, Kenneth Morrison, is joining us today and will be a member of our community panel. So, more on that later. And without further ado, DeAndre, thank you. Uh, 
Oh, okay. But, um, yeah. This is one of my signature pieces and probably... Before I go, I, I had to talk about as far as... I'm a student at Frederick Douglass, and I was actually there when they were having the circles and Elijah Cummings was talking. Unfortunately, I was not in that circle because that was the most human I've ever seen somebody in politics ever be, period, point blank. That was, a, that was something I could actually connect with. That entire day, I refused to, because when I saw them come in, because of my views on politics, I refused to participate in like any of like the conversations and anything they had. And then, because I believed it was kind of, yeah. And then one of my teachers brought me into a circle and had me talk, and then I heard what they were saying, and I realized it was still kind of, yeah. And then, so, but I'm gonna say that that speech that he gave probably would, has put more, has spoken to me more than anybody has said within the past 30 days to the past, to the past year and everything that I've, I've done. So I just want to appreciate that and just say the system. I'm a, and I just want to say, with all this, the system that we are placed under, that has been in place for the last 200, 300 years, is going to be very hard to change that. Because the system isn't broken. It's working perfectly fine the way it was designed to work. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna do too much. I'm gonna uh, just do this piece real quick. And hopefully you get my pain and my struggle that I went through to have my passion. <laughs> Mommy, I have a question. Why does the moon follow me? Where do babies come from? Why are there so many balloons in your drawer? <laughs> Mommy, where's Daddy? Where is he going? Why was he mad? What's a drug? What's drug money? What's child support? Mommy, the police gave me and Daddy a ride today. Mommy, where is Daddy going again? What's the system? Is the system bad? Mommy, why are you always crying? What's poverty? What's a broken home? Mommy, when is daddy coming home again? Mommy, what's a statistic? My teacher said daddy is a statistic. Can I be a statistic when I grow up? Mommy, What's the school to prison system pipeline? What's racism? Does racism still exist? What's, what's oppression? What's government? Does the government oppress its people? What's, what's AIDS? What do black people have to do with AIDS? What's population control? What's the new world order? Are they real? But, mommy, wait, 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 wait. If, if God wrote the Bible, no, 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 wait. If man wrote the Bible, then why do we call it God's word? Who's Lucifer? No, 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 no. Who's Lucifer, really? Can light exist without darkness? Are science and religion the same? If not, how come one is taught in schools and one isn't? Mom, how come astronauts haven't found heaven yet? Are God and government the same? Are taxes the same as tithes? But, but if money is the root of all evil, then why do we pay God with it? But, but if money is the root of all evil, 
Why is in God we trust on the back of all evil? But we need money to live. Do we live backwards? Mommy, do we live evil? Mommy, I'm scared. What's schizophrenia? Bipolar, OCD, ADHD, bipolar, schizophrenia, bipolar, schizophrenia. I mean, what's a pill? 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 Mom, what's a pill? What's a free thinker? Why are they sweats? I heard my doctor say it today. Mom, what does innocence? When did I lose it? I took the pill. Mommy, am I a good boy now? I don't have any more questions. Next, we'll hear from Mohammed Tall, Baltimore City Youth Poet Ambassador and student at Woodlawn High School. Mohammed is 17, and we're excited to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the piece I'm going to share with you guys is called Do the Right Thing. It's inspired by Spike Lee's 1989 film. I got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me. The devil heard I got a message, so he's trying to disconnect me. The mayor said, do the right thing, doc. So here I am trying to heal the hood. I brought some cameras and my consciousness is script challenging politics. Didn't need to practice, man, I swear that I was Iverson. Better for Stuyvesan, lives within them. Cops poison in streets with venom, counter act like penicillin, you see? This pen is healing, but Lee? He had a vision, the heat was cataclysmic, metaphoric of the violent nature, cops creating the streets. Let's take it back to Howard Beach, Southern Queens, 1986 to this day, it still makes me sick. One black man killed, they hit him with a car, he who did his dad was a cop. So the charges got dropped, robbed him of his right to live. Kill a Negro, be a hero, brother, that's just how it is. Rest in peace to Michael Griffith. But the struggle goes on, Pete, my boy Raheem, we nicknamed him radio, his boombox was a blessing. Played his message through a stereo to our hood. An angel amplified through God's plans. I swear to God he was God's right hand symbolizing a black man with the message. Love and hate. Wherever one is, you're sure to find another. Just like Cain and Abel, one inclined to kill the other. Yin and yang on both hands, a combo in effect. He could embrace you with a fist or treat you with respect. Two slices of pizza and I want extra cheese. Big salad, GOP, it makes no difference to me. Stuffing false hope in our hearts and pizza, pizza down our throats, taking money out the ghetto. Us commoners shouldn't meddle with the status quo. Oh, hell no. We want some brothers on the wall. You come to our neighborhoods, we eat here, and we can't get any brothers on the wall? It seems like Sal's Pizzeria is the house of representatives with the lack of care and cold stairs they invaded us with no fear, there's no fear in the art of war. So when I pick up my gun to protect my son, don't look at me like I'm crazy because I told you. I got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me. The devil heard I got a message, so he's trying to disconnect me. Now, 
History repeats itself, and that's just how it goes. Same way that these cops always take my brother's souls. Same thing Darren Wilson did to Mike Brown, yeah, we know. Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, Amadou Diallo. Why silly white kids argue over who doesn't see color? Look around, Billy, man, they killing all my brothers. They justify our deaths saying that we kill each other. Sit around, enjoy your privilege while I console my mother. No plan, my life's no joke, and that's true-ish. Same rope they hung us on, we tie our shoes with. But not today, I pray no grades be paved, cause I came to bring the change, we ain't stupid. So when I pick up my gun to protect my son, don't look at me like I'm crazy because I told you. I got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me, got a target on my body, somebody. Please protect me. The devil heard I got a message, so he's trying to disconnect me. Rest in peace, Freddie Gray. Wow.